us go into those jobs uh, with some of the skill sets and backgrounds and experiences you need, but with a lot of gaps in your ability. And the only way you can do a good job is to get people around you who know things you don't know, who have experiences you haven't had, who can, can take and create multiple leadership centers throughout the institution. And, and, and at some point, I, I concluded that it's a funny thing, but A's tend to hire A's, and B's tend to hire C's, and, and D's. And, 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 and you've simply got to have people that are better than you are. And, and one of the fun things in life, if, if you're trying to run something and you know you don't know how to do it, I mean, I took over a pharmaceutical company having never been in business and never taken chemistry or biology. I remember at the first shareholders meeting, a woman stood up in the back and uh, they just announced my salary. <laughs> Secretary of Defense, I think I was making $42,500. And Searle was going to pay me $200,000. So, you know, four times what I was making. And uh, she stood up and she said, My name's Ethel Shapiro, and I am a shareholder. And I said, Good afternoon. And she said, What in the world makes you think you're worth that much money? And I said, well, it's not clear yet. <laughs> <laughs>